Hi everyone, welcome back. One of the biggest hurdles that parents face is when and how to pull that swaddle. First, I want you to remember that when that baby is rolling from their back to their tummy, that is definitely the time to pull that swaddle. Because when they flip over and they're swaddled, they don't have their arms free to be able to safely sleep and turn their head from side to side. Number two, if your babies are getting themselves out of the swaddle but they're remaining asleep, that's a good sign they're ready for that swaddle to be pulled. Next, when you pull that swaddle, get ready for a time of adjustment. That baby needs one to two weeks getting used to sleeping really differently for two reasons. The first is that startle reflex. It's still usually pretty strong. They have to learn to sleep through it. And the second is, remember, they're used to sleeping nice and bundled in that swaddle. They need to learn how to get used to sleeping nice and free in their environment. Number four, you can pull the swaddle slowly. Okay, what I mean by that is, there's a progression you can make to help them learn how to sleep without the swaddle. The first step would be to have one arm out of their swaddle for naps, and then one arm out at night, and then two arms out for their naps, and then two arms out at night, and then you can go ahead and pull the swaddle and they'll kind of slowly adjust to that transition. Also, you can pull the swaddle quickly. Some babies respond better to pulling it quickly versus the slow progression, and basically what you do, the swaddle's just done. And no, there's a time of adjustment for them to get used to it. A trick I use is when I put my babies down because of that startle reflex, I would kind of gently hold my hands on their arms or legs as they nodded off to sleep for a few days so they got used to being more free and out of the swaddle. And finally, here are some tips on what to do to transition them out of the swaddle with some different options. The Merlin Sleep Suit is a great transition out of the swaddle. It has a little bit of a weight to it so it helps with that startle reflex but still gives the baby a sense of some containment. You can also use a sleep sack. They come in different fabrics, so you can choose based on the temperature outside which one to use, and it gives the babies a sense of they're still kind of contained, but their arms are free. Just know when your baby's pulled a standing, I don't recommend using a sleep sack because they can trip over it with the bottom of their feet. So there you have it, some nuggets on how to pull that swaddle. And you know what I would love? I would love to hear from all of you. Go ahead and post below the topics you would like us to cover and we would be happy to help. I'll see you guys next time.